back over here in the review corner again. This time it's not really a review. I do have a bucket here that I picked up at Bass Pro Shops for just a couple bucks. Really cheap bucket, basic bucket with the handle there. Uh, there's nothing really to talk about with the bucket. It's very basic. Does the job for what I'm doing here, but what am I doing? Well, I got a wild bug. Got a wild bug to make some paper bricks. I've seen them for over a decade on YouTube. They've had people uh, doing paper bricks, but I wanted to do one for a lot cheaper. I didn't want to pay for the $40 Amazon brick maker. I just kind of wanted to do it as cheap as possible. So what I did was I got some PVC pipe and I cut it down. It doesn't really matter what size you, uh, what, however large you want your brick is what materials you choose. And there was some learning involved. I have the cap here on the bottom and I drilled holes in that all over the place. And that sits at the bottom. There's still some of the paper in there from the other one. But this would sit right there. And at first, I didn't have holes drilled in all the right spots. Uh, I had them only in the bottom, so I learned my lesson there and drilled them up the side. I might even drill more. Oh, the crows are going crazy up there. Probably laughing at me. Birds do that. It's a three and a half inch pipe on my outside where I drilled the holes. And then I just got another pipe. I've got the cap on the, the bigger pipe, and then I've got the cap on the smaller pipe. And I didn't get ones that fit together too well. There is a bit of a gap around the edges here, but it didn't really matter. It seemed to work just fine. And all I do is I press that down and I crush it. All the water is coming out of these holes here. And, uh, and then I stick a, a board or something on top and I really smash down on that and all the moisture comes out of there uh, as much as I can get. Now if you were to do a, a bottle jack or a scissor jack or something and build a framing and really condense that paper, it would work a lot better. But again, I, don't, I didn't want to go too crazy. It's not something I plan to do probably too much. I just wanted to give it a shot. It looked like fun. So This is what my first bricks ended up looking like. And the first bricks were not good. They've got the speckles in here are coffee. I did put coffee grounds in there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. But uh, they were very ugly at first. They were chipping apart cracking and falling apart uh, as, then as soon as I added those other holes on the sides I was able to compress it a little more and some of my other ones they started getting a little better a little thicker here there was one there uh, and eventually I got them to be around log sized and they're still cracking a little bit but these are these are not bricks for building I'm gonna burn them so it doesn't really matter too much that they're cracking apart a little bit. I can still kind of I can still pick this one up and it it's it's gonna crack right right there, but it'll do the trick. Now I did decide to put these in a greenhouse to see if I would dry them out quicker. Uh, they will take a long time to dry out. Uh, and these, like I said, the smaller ones are already pretty much dry. And that's been about a week. So the top ones uh, it doesn't get very hot in Washington, especially in the fall, so it'll take them it'll take them quite a while to dry out. But we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty happy with them for as little as I spent for the materials, and it helped me to get rid of a lot of waste paper, like credit card offers and that kind of thing. Uh, with something that I can actually use to, I can actually use these to heat the house. So, not too shabby for what I'm doing.